Hello everyone. I am Vinay P. Working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Vivekananda College of Engineering and Technology, Puttu. Now today we will discuss about uh, the op-amp as a differentiator circuit. And as I mentioned, the uh, op-amp is used in uh, many applications. And it can be used as a summing amplifier. It is used as a subtractor. And it is used in the instrumentation amplifier, integrator, and differentiators. And uh, we'll discuss about the circuit of a differentiator. And uh, as the name itself indicates, that the differentiator means uh, here the output is uh, proportional to the time derivative of the input voltage. So whatever the input voltage will be given, uh, we'll take the differentiation of that. The output will be the differentiation of that. So for example, if I give a sinusoidal input voltage. And output will be a uh, the differentiation of sine. What is the differentiation of the sine? The differentiation of the sine is a uh, cosine. So you'll get a cosine wave. Uh, like that, you can give a square pulse, a uh, triangular pulse, and all. Uh, and we'll take the derivative of that, and we'll obtain the corresponding output voltage. And uh, now I'll explain the the working of the circuit, the differentiator circuit, which is constructed using a uh, pan uh, IC741. Here. This is a circuit diagram uh, of op-amp using uh, op-amp as a differentiator. And the first I will explain what are the component is connected in the circuit. And here I used one uh, capacitance which is connected to the input side, which is acting like input capacitance. And I used one uh, feedback resistance uh, RF with the value as 1 mega ohm. And the capacitance I used here 0.1 microfarad. Now, uh, as I mentioned, the output voltage, uh, you need to find out the equation for output voltage. Uh, that is calculated by using uh, the current which is flowing through a capacitance and the current which is flowing through a resistance RF. Now we know that the voltage across the capacitor will be given by uh, 1 by C the integration I into DT. Okay, so therefore the current which is flowing through this capacitance will be given by and here you know that the voltage at this point is V, v in and the voltage at the other point is V1 that is uh, which is connected to the inverting terminal and uh, you know that uh, because of virtual ground the voltage at the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminals are same here the non-inverting terminal is connected to ground that is that means V2 is 0 since V2 is 0 V1 is also 0 now if I want to obtain the current through this capacitance then I can write it as uh, the I is equal to C into D by DT of V in minus V1. Since V1 is 0, they'll get the current which is flowing through this resistance as this capacitance is uh, C into D by DT of V. Uh, since the because of large input impedance of an op-amp, the current flowing into the sorry, the current flowing into the op-amp is 0. Therefore, current which is flowing through this capacitance will flow through this feedback resistance RF also. Therefore, I can write this current which is flowing through this uh, resistance as I that is given by V1 minus V0 divided by RF. And we know that V1 is equal to 0 therefore we will get uh, I is equal to minus V0 by RF. If I liquid this uh, the current which is flowing through this capacitance and this uh, resistance RF then if I will rearrange it, I will get the equation for output in terms of input voltage. Therefore, this equation will be given by V out is equal to minus RF into RC into D by DT of the input voltage that is V in. And this RF into RC uh, is a time constant which is multiplied to this term. So, D by DT of V in. And uh, this this resistance and capacitance will change the, the amplitude of the output voltage. So here I use the RF is equal to 1 mega ohm and the C is equal to 0.1 microfarad. And here I mentioned the expected out, expected input output waveform. The first I given uh, a square wave as an input. The square wave as an input with the, is an input voltage. And this is the output voltage, the respective output voltage. And uh, here you can observe the output will be uh, like a spikes. If there is any changes with respect to the output voltage that is from positive to negative and you can observe there is a, a spike, a negative spike, negative signal over here come to this. Again it will be zero because uh, yeah, differentiation of one is zero. Then uh, 
will get a spike over here also. This is, there is a changes with respect to the voltage. So here I given a square wave input and output we will expect in terms of a spikes. And again uh, I consider the input voltage as a sine wave here. The sine wave, one cycle, I consider one cycle of the sine wave input. Then output will be a cosine wave. The cosine wave, you know that the difference between a sine and cosine wave, there is a 90 degree equation between input and output. Now I will show the output of a differentiator circuit. In the first I will show the how the, the circuit is connected here. Uh, this is the op amp, this is used here with op amp. And you know that the pin number for op amp is given by and as 1, 2, 3, 4 here. This is 8, 7, 6, 5. And the pin number 2 is the inverting input and I, for inverting input I have to connect one capacitance. The capacitance is connected to the pin number 2. So this is pin number 2. The capacitance 1 end is connected to that. And the other end of capacitance is connected to the input voltage. And the, the resistance, this is RF, RF, its value is 1 mega ohm. And that is connected to the pin number 6. One terminal is connected to pin number 6, the other terminal is connected to pin number 2. And the dual supply, this is a dual supply I use. The plus 2 value, this is plus 2 value, this is minus 2 value. Plus 2 value is, volt is given to pin number 7. And minus 2 value is given to the pin number 4. And the, this terminal is connected to ground. So this is a dual supply which is given to the op-amp. Now the input voltage, it will give a AC input voltage here. That is given through a signal generator. And this is a signal generator I used here. And the, the one probe is connected to the CRO because we check the output through a CRO and uh, the other probe is connected to the input so that is given to the one end of capacitance and the non-inverting terminal is here connected to ground so this is about the circuit diagram now I will give a, the input voltage here I will give a sine wave as an input voltage the sine wave as an input voltage I will uh, note down the output using uh, CR. The CR of the output is, will be measured. So I will set the input voltage. Uh, here, this is the CRO. Uh, channel, channel 1 is used as an input signal. So this is the input signal. I given uh, 0.1 volt. 0.1 volt is an input signal. And channel 2 I used as an output and I will use it as uh, the two volt and here you can observe so here you can observe there is a, the phase change between input and output and I given a sine wave input and you can uh, observe there there is a change with respect to the this there is a phase shift between input and output the output will be will get as a cosine wave so this is about uh, the op amp as a differentiator circuit. Similarly, I can change the input voltage uh, for a square wave input, triangular input and uh, I can note down the corresponding output voltage for that. And uh, the frequency also uh, for a differentiator circuit we give the frequency uh, in terms of around 10 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz in the, in the range of 10 to 20 kilohertz and the input voltage will give the amplitude less than 1 volt. 0.1 volt, 0 0.5 volt and all. Otherwise, uh, there is a change in output voltage, uh, the, it is multiplied with RF into C. So the amplitude of output voltage will be increased. The output of the output will be increased. And if it is more than uh, 12 volt, that will go to the saturation. So, this is about the output voltage of an, you can observe here correctly. So, this is the changes with respect to the output voltage. So this is my input, this is my input, I will make it to the reference ground first, uh, both are connected to ground, they are connected to ground, I will release this, I will give to the AC, AC. Uh, similarly this also I will give to the AC, you can observe, if I will take one cycle of the input voltage, you can, you can observe the one cycle of the input voltage, this is my sine wave input, the one cycle and you can observe the output will be delayed by 90 degree, so this is, output is a cause wave and it is sign and cause. So therefore the differentiator circuit will provide the, it will get the output as a derivative of the input voltage. Thank you.